So the next poem is from uh, Ibiza, because I was there in 1970, from December into March 71, having a pretty awful time. I was in a relationship with someone who was very cool and rather older than myself, and he was having an affair with someone else at the same time. And we were in a kind of crew of people, a bunch of sort of hippies that had loosely gathered together. So this is called Con Juani, February. We look at each other with rivers now. The days we walk down the road into sure sun, almond trees thick with white flowers feeding us. We are an eagle, arms thick with feathers, who dreams of wings. In our eyes, the master water, on the road, stones parting to show the sky. The nights we camp in the kitchen, bread and onions feeding us. The ragged sleeves of the fire, our solid voices, our flickering cheekbones. The nights we wear each other's bodies like gifts, and in the business of sleep, sweat and turn over and let the dreams fall in like the night through the little high window. So here's the commentary. Even in a sorry time, with the wrenching decampment of my lover's affections to another, even with the psychic displacement drugs bring, there were these times of bliss and luminosity. I remember the night this refers to. Our crowd were staying at the house of an acquaintance on another part of the island. I remember the flowering trees just outside. We took some Dorminguinos, hmm, ridiculously large and strong Spanish knockout pills. I remember I saw stars and fell down, and I must have woken in the night or early morning, somewhat recovered and written, or maybe it was later in the day. We did so drift. Or perhaps we stayed two nights and I wrote it on a previous night before we took the damned things. I have learned through experimenting and this only happened after I saw a really nice vid on YouTube where a young man from India went around filming all sorts of people singing and dancing and speaking gratefulness. And it just hit me right. I learned that if I wake in the middle of the night, I have a distinct choice between worrying and doing the opposite. And this opposite is what I call doing my gratefuls. I just lie there saying to myself, I'm grateful for that black dress with sparkles on it I got at the charity shop today. I'm grateful that I took into the shop a bag of stuff that I don't want anymore. I'm grateful I'm reading Passage to India by E.M. Forster because it's just brilliant and it makes me happy to read. I'm grateful the recycling trucks came today and took away all those bottles and all that paper. I'm grateful for this house. I'm grateful I went for such a good long walk. I'm grateful for my clean sheets. I'm grateful so-and-so said something nice about my book. I'm grateful there are some nice leftovers in the fridge from today, so I don't need to cook tomorrow. I'm grateful I got a lot of ironing done. And so on. This is so soothing and lifts my heart so gently and surely that I soon fall asleep again, happy inside my cozy being. Only one drawback. Now, in the daytime, if I start to think of something I'm grateful for, right away I feel sleepy. 